This is Dispatches from Myrtle Beach with Charles Neal and my son Link from Good Mythical Morning. How you doing, son? Well, I'm I'm doing pretty good, all things considered. I uh, I've been a bit under the weather, Dad. Well, you know, uh, I, I ain't called you, and does that mean you, you didn't know to... that I was under well, the weather? It means that I had heard a little bird told me that you was under the weather. That I had COVID? Yes. That you had COVID. And you. so your application was, I'm not going to call him. Because I figured I'm guilt you, you into this. I, you, well, no, you ain't. Because I usually call you about stuff and you said, no, we got to wait and talk about that on the oh. Podcast. Yep, 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 yep. So, so I just I knew <laughs> I knew you was probably all right, and I'm all right, yeah. And so I didn't I didn't you know you I left you alone because I've had COVID. I know you don't feel to get that good well. And <laughs> did you have to take that Paxlovid? No, I, I I never went to see a doctor. Okay, let's see who got it first. Lando got it. And Chrissy's got it. Of course, it's not the first time either one, any of us have had it. And then so they uh, got it. And then I was uh, Christy went out of town with some girlfriends, and then she came back with it. Oh! And so then we kept we kept our distance, and like Lando was hanging around her more than me, so he got it. And I was like, well, I haven't seen you that much. I'm not going to get it. And then finally, the day that they tested negative was the day that I tested positive. I thought I'd made it. But it was not that bad for me. Um, it was basically just a head cold. Like both of them had fever and it like took them down. It took Lando down for like a day and a half. It took Christy down for multiple days. And even though she, she's been testing negative for a while, she still is kind of like a little weak. A little, still not yeah, feeling great. It takes right. some people longer to get over it. Nothing, so... Lando had already gone back to school and he got COVID. No, it it worked out for him to where he was totally fine, like a day or two before he started high school. So he it's kind of, it was kind of perfect timing for him, you know, to have the immunity of getting it to then re-enter the school system and not to miss any class as like his high school career is just starting. Which let me come oh, yeah. back to his high school career, because I got I still got to talk about me. But I I'm, I appreciate the fact that you were so worried about me that it was it took everything <laughs> in your power to not call Every, me to not and, call you. I mean, and just wait yeah. until this podcast when I'm basically <laughs> through the woods right. to then say how con- how concerned you were about me and how you were losing sleep. After the little bird, which I guess was Nana. Mm, that would be not correct. But that would be not correct. Oh, that's not the catchphrase, Dad. Well, who was the little bird? Uh, she's probably sitting in that room with you. <laughs> oh, Logan. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> I thought he knew and he... Because we what? had to reschedule... Did we have to reschedule? Something, something, or you I, we I, might I, have to. something else got rescheduled, and I found out about it. And then when we were talking about the episodes, you learned it about my personal life through Logan, through our producer. This is this is the life we live now. Dave. Now, now that would be correct. <laughs> <laughs> I did, it was not bad at all for me. You know, Christy was. I mean, I could tell she was a bit mad at me for not being sicker. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know, I just have a head cold. It's like, I don't really have COVID. She was like, well, you have it. I was like, but I don't really have it. You know, I have it just enough to now know that I'm not going to get it later. But So now when you have COVID, if you go test negative and after five, I thought after three or five days, you could just go back to work anyway. That sounds good to me. So... You know. how, so how long were you out of work? I mean, three days, five days uh, a week? Four so, days. Four, four days. days. So that's yeah. about right. Yeah. And I do so, think, I. what do you think about, do you think that your body knows when you it's okay to get sick? Because 
it's not that I didn't have work scheduled, but it was the type of things that could be moved around a little bit more. So I think my body has a copy of my Google Calendar, my immunity <laughs> system, and it's just saying, hey, you, you can you can get it right now. It can, it'll can, it be all right. Now's a good time to get it. You go ahead and get it and get it on over with, and then you can go back to work when you need to. Because so. next, week, next week I have a trip plan. I'm going to Montana, and I don't, I, and I didn't want to, I'd hate to, I would hate to miss that if I had COVID. So it, it was like, I think my body knew that. It was like, I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. We're going to go with ahead your and take it. Is that with your buddies? College buddies, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm free and clear for that, you know? But do you think that your body knows, that your immunity system knows when you can just take a little breather, have a little? Well, you know, when you have kind of what I have with leukemia and sometimes, sometimes your body don't want to get up and do stuff anyway. So mm -hmm. and with, with leukemia, it ain't good to get COVID to start with. So That's true. So that, that's why you were taking the pack of it and staying on top of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I took that because the first time I had it, I didn't call my Dr. Brander at Duke, and I kind of got my toes mashed when I went back up there about not calling, so. You got your toes mashed? Uh, huh? Is that a euphemism? Yeah, it's a euphemism. I know yeah. he didn't literally mash your, mash your toes. Did you make that up, or is that something? Well, it's kind of like, you know, you ain't never heard you know, when you was growing up and you, you went to church and the preacher was preaching and, you know, he he was preaching on something you needed to be listened to, but you was kind of squirming about it and looking. That means he might have been mashing your toes a little bit to get your attention oh. to see what was going on. So, oh. But it might have been something I, I come up with. I don't know. It I've been saying it a long time. I got You get your toes mashed today when you went to church? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, the best sayings are the ones that even if you've never heard them, you immediately know what they mean. Well, I'm glad you're doing and, uh, better. But uh, I know. Don't, stop worrying, Dad. Stop worrying about but, uh, me. It's yeah, okay. It's I okay. didn't. I didn't. After Logan told me, and I knew you. I mean, it. The the people in this world, you know, you get COVID now, and they say just rest three or four or five days and going back to work. It's just like getting a cold. So. The thing that I did was I did call in. I was like, listen, I can't do this. I think I got to lay out. And it ended up being those four days, and then it was over the weekend, fourth, five, six. So it was six days for me. And um, I just, I, I got back in bed. I just laid in bed, went back to sleep, got up that afternoon, tried to, I went back to sleep. I did that for like three days, just forced myself to sleep. And by the third day of forcing myself to sleep, like probably, two, three hours during the day, because I am a professional napper. Then it got to the point where I was waking up at 4 a.m., just wide awake, just like. Oh, yeah. My brain, and it never happens to me, you know, because I never sleep that much during the day. But boy, yeah. I, I mean, I was just, my brain was just, it was just like 100 miles an hour. It was getting your days and nights mixed up. Yeah, it started to become a little bit of an issue, but yeah. then, uh, but then I, uh, I threw a party for some for a friend of mine for his birthday, and we stayed up till two a.m. and that that set it all straight. Okay, well that's good. Yeah. That's the best way to get rid of COVID. On the okay. very tail end of it, just like, just party all night, man. This, yeah. <laughs> Have a big time, and either either you get better or you get worse. <laughs> I got I, I I did all right. I did all right. So enough about me, but I did want to say, can you believe that Lando is in high school now? That's kind of hard, you know. It, that that's another stepping stone that do you know the last one in high school too. It just makes me say, "Damn, I'm getting old." I know you start. You starting to. You you're not getting sad about it, are you? Oh no! Uh -uh. You're aging I'm glad gracefully. Yeah. Um, I'm glad. Well, you're gonna see, you're gonna see firsthand when you and Nana fly out here. 
Because yeah. y'all y'all gonna be hanging out with Lando, and he's gonna be you're gonna be you're gonna be hanging out with high school Lando. You got to see how different he is. Because you're coming out here in October. Oh yeah, so yeah, that could turn into a little teaser for the myth, uh, Myrtle Beast. If you want to, uh, if you want to make it a teaser. Oh, you Myrtle Beast, yeah. I, I'm I'm going to LA again. Going to be doing me and Lance going to do a live podcast and oh a live. What do you mean a live podcast? Well, I mean, just one with me and you sitting right beside of one another. Okay, we're, we're okay. We're not going to broadcast it live. Let's not get no, too excited. I'm sorry, I, I misspoke. I'm trying to. We'll be in the same room. That we're going to be in the same room, and we will both be yeah. alive. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna record yeah, a handful so, of them. So, so yeah, we got. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be on some of your other shows and some different things, and uh, got a lot of be on the cooking show. And, oh yeah, you're gonna be on Mythical Kitchen. Yep. Yes, I love this. So, and well, I I just got off of a meeting. And I, I, I heard about something that we're going to be doing together for something special. Uh, that, now, we're not going to talk about it here. We're going to keep it no, under wraps. We're not. But, Mm-mm. oh, I don't know what, I don't even know if you've heard about this. Yes, I had I, little birds. Oh, Fill this, me in a little that bit. That bird talks a lot. <laughs> That bird need to keep her beak shut. Hey, that, 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 <laughs> that, that, giving valuable no, information. No, 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 no that, right. that, that, that bird, that bird is supposed to. She, yeah, yeah, she yeah, yeah, is right. supposed to be. She's my producer. That's right. <laughs> Would that be that's not my, correct? That is correct. And she, you Logan, know, she's, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> She, that she, would uh, be that correct? would be correct. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. you gotta. I'm sorry. All right. I'm really giving you shit today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I probably deserve it. That's okay. And COVID. Maybe mm. I'm giving you COVID. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Is it a good time? Uh, When's the last time you had it? Dad hadn't had it since July. January. So I'm in the clear. Oh, you, I'm good. You won't get it. Yeah, I won't get it. I mean, I'm not gonna give it. To, I I right. can't give yeah, it to you. Yeah. But I'm just joking. <laughs> Unless I'm not. I, I mean, I really don't know. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> oh, okay, anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. We're going to have, so in October, we'll be in the same room. So get ready for uh, some uh, dispatches from Los Angeles, both yep. your boys in one room. That will be in October, though. So you got some time to wait. Well, what's your update? I've, I've been talking, I've been talking about my end too much. Well, I, I got an update on Nana. Okay, good. Nana had went back to the uh, her doctor, her surgeon, and he turned her loose and told her they set up all her PT stuff. As a matter of fact, she went to it two days ago on it, but uh, told her to walk all she could walk. Really? With it's, the walker, though? With the walker. Yeah, that would yeah, be yeah. correct. Okay. Yeah, she's got. She can't never try to walk, not even with a cane. She's got to walk with her walker, which she's pretty pleased with. And she's back to using her regular walker like she used to use and walking. But <clears throat> I got. I sent Logan a picture, and just to let you know a little bit, you, you know how much sometimes how, how much Nana likes. <clears throat> she used to didn't like dolls, cats, or nothing. Especially in the house. <laughs> in the house. No pets in the house. Ain't T.C. Tracy sent me a picture of Mama walking with her walker. Uh huh. And you got to see this. Oh my gosh, she's taking the cat for a walk. The cat is, of course, there's a seat on her walker, but she's yep. standing, and the cat is just along for a joyride. But listen. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa said that's great. It don't make it don't make any difference what Mama's doing. That cat when she gets up to get on that walker, she goes with her. When she goes to bed, she goes to the bathroom. Everything that cat's right there with her, R- right in the walker every time, or just riding her? on the no getting on that seat on the walker every time. A cat likes like, to take a ride every yeah. time, and. And uh, but I think Mama like that cat will get up there in that chair. Mama sits in, sits back. Uh-huh. That cat will get get up there and get right behind her head and lay down back there. Are you and serious? She's finally, 
she's finally got to where, and she don't do it all the time. She'll go somewhere up and sleep too. And a lot of times she'll go over and get right behind mama and 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 uh, with Nana and and sleep right there with her on the back of her chair. I told Teresa, I said, if mama gets to go back home, I reckon you're going to lose the cat. <laughs> what is the cat's name? Do you know? No, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Black cat. <laughs> All right, black cat. Black Because Teresa's got two other cats besides that one. Yeah, the, I, the cat has to take a ride. It's not that the cat wants to follow Nana. The cat wants a ride. I think it wants to ride, but I think, you know, animals sometimes know when somebody's hurt or sick or getting better, they want to mm -hmm. kind of watch after them, so make sure if they need help, something happens to them too. But the cat is probably just a cat wants to take a ride. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. That is great. Yeah. But, that um, That is great. And, and I know it's good for it. It's... It's good for you when you're when you're recovering to have have the love of an animal, and to have somebody to push around a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. like you do me. That would be correct. But that's that's kind of that's kind of what's been going on with me around here. And uh, besides, I don't know if you noticed uh, if you can see a little bit, but this room that we're sitting in that we tape is a different color. It's blue in there. What did you find a good painter to come in and uh update the color for you? Yeah, yeah, I found one. Was yeah. he was he reasonably priced? Yeah, he was he, it was reasonable for Nancy. <laughs> okay. It wasn't that Charles Neal guy cuz I I heard that like he could be a real a-hole sometimes. If you don't mm -hmm. pay him on time, boy, he will harass you. I don't have to worry about that much. People pay me. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. But so. you had a you, you had a good you had a good run in with uh, Charles Neal Paint Company. Yeah, they were good to work good, with. Yeah, and you know, uh, leave them a review right here. I my, mean, you know, I know my, they're not a sponsor. They're, I, they're probably not willing to pay. They don't. I don't know if Charles Neal Company has a paint company has a marketing budget, but maybe you can get. Just throw them a freebie. Give them a, give them a little, uh, a little ad right now. Yeah, if you need need somebody to do some good work for you, you could call. He came in here and did a great job at uh, my house and <laughs> uh, painted the bathroom and the uh, bedroom and painted the trim in here. And I mean, it it looks good. He he did such a good job that. Uh, his wife, Nancy, hired him, and he's in and painting the other bathroom and bedroom and everything in there. So he's just moving from one side of the house to the next. So if okay. you need a good painter, just just look up Charles Neal Paint Company. Okay, that's good. I might give him a call. Well, good. Uh, but he did sleep with my wife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Okay. All right. <laughs> you should put that on the side of your van. Yeah. Top quality paint work, but he might sleep with your wife. If you're, hold on. No, no, don't. No. Okay. No. That won't work. <laughs> that dog won't hunt. <laughs> the golden tea of mythicality is back once again. Now through September 13th, the end of this week, you can participate by going to mythical.com and secure your very own shiny tea. In addition to the mythical beast in the U.S., this is also open to mythical beast in the U.K., Canada, and Mexico. Three lucky mythical beasts will receive unique variant teas to unlock incredible unique prizes. The Blue Teas wins a $1,000 mythical shopping spree, the orange tea winner and a guest will receive an all-expense-paid trip to see one of our upcoming Good Mythical Tour dates in November, including a VIP meet-and-greet with us. And finally, the grand prize golden tea winner will receive a $40,000 cash prize. Check out Mythical.com to enter the 2024 Golden Tea of Mythicality giveaway for a chance to win one of these incredible prizes. Why do you want to learn a new language? 
Maybe you're looking to advance in your career, want to appreciate other cultures through films, music, and art, or just want to improve your brain function. Studies have shown that learning a new language can improve memory, problem-solving skills, and even delay the onset of dementia. In comes Rosetta Stone, the most trusted language learning program available on desktop or as an app. It truly immerses you in the language you want to learn. Rosetta Stone has been a trusted expert for 30 years with millions of users and 25 languages offered. It provides fast language acquisition with no English translations, so you really learn to speak, listen, and think in that language. Plus, their built-in True Accent features gives you feedback on your pronunciation. It's like having a personal trainer for your accent. Don't put off learning that language. There's no better time than right now to get started. For a very limited time, Dispatches from Myrtle Beach listeners can get Rosetta Stone's lifetime membership for 50% off. Visit rosettastone.com slash dispatches. That's 50% off unlimited access to 25 language courses for the rest of your life. Redeem your 50% off at rosettastone.com slash dispatches today. It's time for another edition of Myrtle Beach Mailbag. You got any mail coming in? Well, I got some mail. I got one from uh, Sarah and says, can you repeat the following to the screen? Okay. You can, in, you can include hand motions, too, as you're talking. You see how I do my makeup for work? Very demure, very mindful. I don't come to work with a green cut crease. I don't like. I don't look like a clown when I go to work. See how I look very presentable. I'm very modest. I'm very mindful. And you see my skirt only a little chichi out, not my chocho. Very mindful, very demure. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> is this a. Uh, is it, th- this. I'm starting to smell a little TikTok here. Is yeah, this, yeah, yeah. Maybe this. Uh, I have not seen this, but this feels like you're quoting a TikTok, Dad, unknowingly. Oh, okay. Could have used All more right. hand motions. Well, though. Okay. What, what well, is the? I, I think this is. I think this is. Um. I think this is a woman mm-hmm. who's. Um. You know, she's she's telling the world about her. Uh, it's like get ready with me kind of a thing. Right? Yeah. Okay. So you got I think you need to try it again. You need to like up your enthusiasm f- for the fact that you you you're so confident in your makeup and in your outfit. And and she wanted some hand motions. Okay. So let's let's give it a shot. You can see how I do my makeup. Very demure, very mindful. I don't come to work with a green cut crease. I don't I don't look like a clown when I go to work. See how I look very presentable. I'm very modest. I'm very mindful. You see my skirt? Oh, a little chichi out. Not my chocho in. Very mindful. Very demure. What is a chichi that comes out and a chocho that stays in? I don't uh, actually know that part. Okay. Me, the logo. All right. I got, hopefully, Sarah was happy with that. I think it's a TikTok uh, thing. 10 out of 10. Okay. All right. That was well, a good work, Dad. That was good work. I'd, You'll find yourself on TikTok, whether you like it or not. Yeah, whether I like it or not, I have. But you like it. But I like it. Yeah, he likes it. Yeah, you were put on TikTok. I'll, t- I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, I got another. I got another email from Vanessa. It says, "Hello, Charles and Link and Logan. I would like to know if you have any advice on how to insert personality and bring to life your living spaces." My husband and I are hopefully buying a house soon, 
and I'm terrible at interior design. Our current apartment is so bland. Once we have a house, I really want to make it feel like a home. What are some easy ways to go about this? Simple things can spice up your space. Are there certain home projects that you really enjoy working at besides painting? Lots of love. Yes. Lots of love? Yeah. Okay. Did she say lots of love or she just said she LOL? Said LOL. And she said LOL. Okay. All right. Lots of love. It <laughs> is. Laugh out loud. Oh, okay. Really? <laughs> Le- really? <laughs> all right. All right. Just you, throwing that in to get do you got Do you have you know. a uh, Do you have any interior design advice that's not painting? Oh yeah, I got some. All right, hit me. Yeah, yeah. You, um, <clears throat> Vanessa, first thing you do after you get moved in, you need to kind of figure out how you want to decorate and what you want to use. If you're not going to do any painting, you need to find you some nice pictures to hang on the wall that you like and that kind of gives you something that when you wake up in the morning or you come home from work at night, that it kind of makes you happy and puts you at ease with things you do. And then you can do like my wonderful wife, Nancy, has just done and go just go out and get you some some bed sprays that goes on the bed with the colors and the things that you want on them, whether it's flowers or... Things like we use here at the beach or whatever. I mean, <clears throat> there's a there's a lot of places to all you young that where you can look online or look on Amazon and see all these bed spreads and all these pillars and all these accent things that you can go and put in your house and not it just in the bed, but then you can get pillars to go on your couch that you pick to go in there and you know get you. A, Nice colored couch with that you're going to be sitting on and <clears throat> and do that and then the other thing you, well, you can, I, let me ask you can there, can you have too many pillows? Yeah, you can probably have too many pillows. Yeah, you got to watch that. You can't. Yeah. you can go too far with pillows. Yeah, you, you don't know, want you, to. You get to a point where you got to. It you know it takes. Take twenty minutes to get to crawl in bed because you're removing pillows, or to find a spot to sit on a couch. Just get, just get just enough pillows. Just get a couple to make it an accent. I ain't saying just get a lot, but you know, yeah, just to accent what you got. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And then you can get some nice, pretty lamps, and you might even want to get it. You know, and you know, would you be a woman? And I, I kind of like it too. You, a, a nice mirror on the wall somewhere with what you're doing, to, you know. A nice mirror on the wall of what you're doing. There you go. I yeah. like lamps. That's a big one. L- little light, little lights make big statements. You don't want the big lights. That's the thing I've seen on TikTok. People talking about don't turn on the big light. You know, you got this one big light in the middle of your room, like you flip the switch and then it's like a chandelier or like the bulb underneath the, Ceiling fan comes on. It's just the whole room is like poof. That's not what you want. You want a little. No. You want a little light over here, and you want a warm light bulb in it. You don't want a cold light bulb in it. You don't want it to be blue. You want it to be kind of warm, just a little bit yellow. And you want you, so you want those lamps that Dad's talking about. You want to you want to put a you want to put a nice warm bulb in there, and you put that in one corner, and then over here. You put another little light, and that's what you use. And you don't use the big lights of a night. Create some ambiance. That's right. So that that so that your couch or your bedspread or whatever. And then you could, I mean, in an ideal world, you you've got it where you can flip the light switch and it'll turn on the plug that your lamp is plugged into. That's the best world to, to live in, right there. Yeah, I hardly. I'm, I, I agree with you. I hardly ever. You know, uh, where we got a ceiling fan and the fans are going, but, you know, it's got a light up under. We hardly ever turn those lights on. Not I'll ever. be honest. Yeah. Got some nice lamps beside the couch and beside my recliner. And There you go. We're, the cha- we're champion small lights today. 
So maybe that'll help you out, Vanessa. If you're not going to do any painting, that'll help you, uh, you know, decorate your house and where you and your husband will enjoy it and mm-hmm. like w- what you're doing in your new house. And, you know, just build it, just build it, build it, build onto it over time, you know? Yep. You don't have to do it all at once. Maybe just do it a little bit at a time. You'll get there. It'll happen. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Let it just happen gradually where it works out for you, where you ain't got too much. But like Link says, you don't need too many pillows, just mm-hmm. enough to, you know, sleep. And, of course, you're going to have, besides the ones you sleep on in the bed, you got you to gotta have them accent pillows that goes in front of them. But apparently you do. Where it matches the bed spread. That was, that's more than I bargained for. Just trying to help Vanessa. But now we get to my favorite part. It says from Graham, hey there, Charles, can you pronounce these words? Uh-huh. Oh, Lord, here we go again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. Something tells me it's going to keep happening. <laughs> yeah, well, that's all right. Hey, if that's what they want, that's what, that's what I'm going to give them. It's time for, can I pronounce these words? Let's see if I follow, fail. Hit him with the but first this, one. Uh, anime. That's not bad. Do you know what it is? I ain't got the slightest idea. Well, you anime. It's mm-hmm. not. That's not exactly right. At the end, it doesn't. It it. It doesn't end like that. It's not a. It's not a hard e. It's not a long e. It's actually uh, if it ended in an a y instead of an e. Try that. Anim. Uh, Animi. No, that would that would be if it ended in an i. Okay. Take the e <laughs> and replace it with an a y. Anna, wh- Anna, Anna way, <laughs> not a W. A N I M, A Y. A N I M A Y. Anna why? <laughs> Come on, Dad. A N I A N I. Say that. A Anum Anum A N I. Say that. Just say the first one. Anna. Part. Yep. Anna. M A Y. Say that. Anna May. Yes! <laughs> he got it. <laughs> this is um, animation that is, I would say, Japanese animation. All right. Try this next one. We're going to go to Greece. Good. Uh, Taziki. Oh. I had, I had a zing to it. Tzatziki. That, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes I might say Tajiki. Tzatziki. Tzatziki. How did you get that one so easy? I don't. It just tzatziki. happened to come out of my mouth. <laughs> so basically, this, maybe you need to go to Greece. Maybe, okay. Maybe everything, every Greek word, you, you just instinctively know how to say it correctly. Okay. That would be awesome if we discovered that. I mean, have you had tzatziki? No, I don't know. I don't you, know what tzatziki is. Have you had a hero, a gyro, a gyro, a gyro, a gyro? Yes. And have you put the white stuff on it with the little specks of cucumber in it? The white stuff on Would that be mayonnaise? <laughs> <laughs> Greek mayonnaise, yeah. It has cucumbers in it. It's lighter than mayonnaise. Okay. It doesn't ring a bell? Mm. Well, it doesn't seem like it is. <laughs> no, it ain't ringing a bell. No. <laughs> Your bell was not being rung right then. It was it mm. was uh it was a silent bell. Yeah, but that's it. Tzatziki. All right, let's hit this next one. Gareri. That's that's not it. Um it is a cheese. I don't know if that Gereri. helps. Gereri. Gereri. The more I hear Gereri. you say it. Wait a minute. Gereri. 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 Uh, you're, now you're messing me up. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
the first that you replace that in your mind with two e's. Giri, Giri. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, not G G G What did you say? G R R R R R. Yeah. Let's see. T replace the U with two E's. But keep the R. Gree. Yes. Gree G. Greer. E. Yes. Greer. Yeah. Yeah. You're getting there. Gree wire. <laughs> <laughs> Gree air. Gree air. Yeah, yeah, Gris yeah. Air. Isn't Gris that right? Air. Yeah, I think so. Gree air. Gris. Right now you said it so much. Now Gris. I can't. Gree air. <laughs> Gree air. That's it. It's the che- I don't even think mm-hmm. I like it. You, I know you wouldn't like it because you don't love cheese. Not mm, Well, I like Nancy's pimento cheese. Okay. Well, that, that's different than this. Okay. Last one today. We're going to pace ourselves. I want. I don't want to wear you out, or Graham. Nutella, doesn't. Nutella. Yep, yep. Right off the bat, or maybe that's not right. I actually think. Do you know what Nutella is? Uh, it's that it comes in a jar and you put it on a bagel or. Yeah. It's kind of sweet. And mm-hmm. what color is it? It's kind of like chocolate brown. That's right, like chocolate. It's chocolate it's hazelnut chocolate. spread, um, but it's made out of hazelnuts. So a lot of people they pronounce the nut part. How would you how would you pronounce it if you pronounced it that way? Nutella. Yeah, a lot of people do that. Well, I have ate it, but it was and I ate it at Paul and Brandy's. Oh, not a croissant, but uh, a waffle. <laughs> okay. And heated up, heated up a waffle, and they, and they put some of that. I said, told That's me to try idea. that. We was eating breakfast, man. Mm. That was, and I ain't bought any Nutella yet, but it, it was good. You said it that one good. right. Yeah. They could be a sponsor. Uh, yes, they could. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The official sponsor of Charles Neal Paint Company. You could paint that stuff on a wall in a kid's room. You could come back every week. See, that's the thing about um, my business mindset is that you you don't want to give people something that they don't need you anymore. You want to give them something that makes them want to keep needing you to come back. So think about that, Dad. Painting a kid's room with Nutella or Nutella. I don't know how to say it. Every week, they're going to, it'll take them about a week to lick it off. (laughs) Yeah. And then they're going, and then here you come back putting another coat. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, I don't know about that, but yeah, we. You could say sounds you're grounded. Kind of messy. You could, you could yeah. lock your kids in their room, and then you don't have to worry about them. Just lick lick the paint off the wall, you know. It teaches it teaches like them abuse, values. Wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be kind of like abuse. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> but they, you, we you, don't we don't want anybody abusing anybody. That's true. Children. So we'll leave the door unlocked. Okay. Yeah. All right, you're right. You're right. You're right. All my ideas aren't mm-hmm. good ideas. We're just brainstorming here. But most of them are. Yeah. Okay. Most of them are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but but we'll just uh, is that is that Nancy yelling at you? Do you have to go? I I don't. I heard guess. her yelling. She might have been talking to Gypsy about see she asking her if she needed to go out. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Well, but you know, we we did the words and got the Nutella and you did it. Uh, you nailed and it. And the waffle. So you know, uh, it, it's been fun having you all here with us today. And we'll be back next week for another one. And don't forget to follow and subscribe wherever you get your podcast on YouTube. And while you're at it, rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. If you got a question, comment, or story you'd like to share with me. Come on, email me at ratherbeshagging53 at aol.com. And y'all have a great rest of your week. And we can't wait to be your demure again next time. <laughs> That's right, Dad. It was fun. Yeah. Good to see you. I love you. You too. Love you too.